Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something that's a bit different but hopefully it'll help some people so enjoy. Today me and Kelsey are going to show you how to get Oh yeah, one of my nails popped off, that's that. I actually have to text the girl that did my nails and be like, one of my nails popped off. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get a jigsaw from Jigsaw Form to flip it over, stick it to a cardboardy piece of paper and then get it onto the wall. Because, let me show you. I got this, Kelsey's following me around, hello. I got this tree pack of jigsaws in, I think the Art and Hob Hobby, yeah, the Art and Hobby shop in Navin. And I already have the Statue of Liberty one on my wall, which you've seen because I'm missing a piece, but I'll get back to that. Then I have the one with the yellow taxi. I have that one done also. It's already stuck up to cardboard upstairs. It just has to be hung on my wall. And then the middle one, the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is the one that I have done out here now. So, yes. Because I'm basically a professional at now because I've already done it twice. So, if you do something two to three times, you're basically a professional. So, I just made that up. So yeah, stick around if you want to see how to get a jigsaw onto your wall because it's a very, very hard process and I finally know how to do it so hopefully it'll help one of you guys. Okay, so first step is to get your puzzle and you're going to have to flip it over backwards so the back of it is facing upwards. How the hell are you supposed to do this? Some may ask. I asked the same question myself. Well, let me prop you up somewhere and show you how I flip it over. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me. So... Yes, it's obviously not a good angle. Let me roll up my sleeves because I need business. Right, first off, I just use my placemats that, um, like, you just put your dirt plates on. Placemats, they're the easiest thing to use. So, oops, sorry. I'm going to take one and I'm going to slowly start sliding the puzzle. Oh shit, this is such a bad angle. Okay, just trust what I'm saying. I'm going to slide some of the puzzle onto it as much as possible. Then I'm going to break it along that line, which is difficult to do. So after you're finished breaking just the line off, you should be left just with a piece like this. And you can just leave it to the side, like that's the bottom piece. And then get like one or two more placemats. And you just do it like that, be the bottom, then you do like a middle section, maybe like a second middle section and then maybe there's the top, like however many you have to do and then just place it like in little sections and then I'll show you what to do after. So I'm gonna show you that, probably speed it up a little bit. And yeah. Now that is the fourth and last piece. So now you have your jigsaw broken up into four different sections. So it's so much easier when it's broken down to actually deal with just piece by piece rather than trying to flip the whole thing at once. So now all you have to do is flip each section on its own. So I'll show you how to do that now. So let's start with the bottom piece again. I'm just going to get the rest of my placemats here just so I can have them. You take one, another a second placemat Put it over it and then pick it up and just simply flip it, put it back down. So now all of my jigsaw is in the right way up. 
So the only difference is that it's all flipped over, which is perfect because that is exactly what I want. Now what I need to do is get my whole jigsaw back onto this board, but in the upside down format that it's in now. So I'll show you how to do that now. I need a copy break because this is not easy. Look how rainy it is outside. Did you just miss Eeyore at all? Cutie patootie. Yay, and that my friends is how you flip an awkward puzzle upside down. Now onto the glue in section. I have this craft glue that I got in Choice, the pound shop kind of place. This beautiful glue. Craft glue with PVA adhesive. I got this in Choice for like two or three euro. It was amazing. So yeah, any PVA glue, it says fast drying and clear and washable. So it dries clear, which is perfect because that's what you kind of need for a puzzle. So yeah, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that all over the back of the puzzle. So I'll show you that now. And just while that's drying and getting a bit tacky, I'm gonna cut up my paper. My jigsaw is done, it's obviously still very gooey, so I'll just leave it to dry. I'm just gonna press it down, make sure it's all stuck so the glue gets every inch of it. Because no way am I doing this again. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm just gonna push this to one side and let it dry. Done. Now all you do is, when it's dry, you go around the edges of it with a like little knife or scissors, cut off the excess so it's just left as a back to the, to, the, to the jigsaw. Then all I do is get some string and I tie two knots in the in each end of the string. Actually, I'll show you the little knots upstairs when I'm explaining this. So this is the other jigsaw. Remember the one with the taxi on it? It's just done. It was done a while ago. And this is all cardboarded on the back of it, which is perfect. And then I cut around it, so it's grand. And then, see, I took some twine, I took some twine or like thick string or whatever. I, I um, tied two knots in each end of it. Then I took super glue and glued two knots to the paper. Then the next thing I do just to keep it more secure so it won't fall off the wall because I had that trouble with the first one is that I stick brown sticky tape over it. And the reason I stick brown tape and not just normal cell tape is because cell tape isn't as thick as brown tape. So yeah, that's the second process. Oh hi Kelsey. And Kelsey let's go show them the last process of it. It's so sunny in here, what the hell? And this is the last process of it. And 
you'll never guess what, but Natalie found Statue of Liberty's missing puzzle piece in her jumper. So Natalie had it all along. So yeah, so that's a funny story. So let's stick her back up right now. shitting me i was just putting her up to measure her and what way she goes and she freaking fell down the back of my bed lovely i just can't catch a break with this statue of liberty jigsaw like seriously okay i just climbed under my bed and found it again but over my dead body am i losing this piece again she's going on the wall and the next time you'll see her on this video she'll be up there wait until see, wait until you see here we go Ta -da. God, it fits. Yay! She is complete. Yes! Woohoo! Oh my god, I'm actually so happy. Look at it, she looks so much better. Looking fine, Libby. Looking fine. Oh my god, now my paintbrush full of glue. Ew! Just fell on my bedroom floor. At least Libby's done. Bye, Libby. You're very blurry. Bye, Libby. Okay, Cassie, are you coming downstairs? Why is everything so blurry? You coming downstairs? Come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, Dad just put that in the decoration. Look how creepy it is. Help us. Because he's so funny. I think that is everything I can show you for today. Because I have to let that sit for the rest of the day and I'll let dry and blah 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 all that fun stuff and then I'll just be cutting it as I said and then I'll show you in another video that I'm doing. I'll show her up on the wall in all her glory. I can't wait to have the three of them on the wall. It's going to be amazing and I can't wait. Okay guys, that is all the excitement from me today, I think. My face is red. I'm sweating. And, but also I feel very accomplished because all my jigsaws are like completed stuck to cardboardy wood then all i have to do with that last one is stick the string on like i said brown tape let the glue dry then put on brown tape and then stick them on the wall well i won't be doing that dad would be because he's the pro he's the handyman not me so yeah that is my um very very professional way of how to get a jigsaw from jigsaw form to like picture form hanging on your wall because i could have done my video like this when i was doing libby because it took me natalie my mom and my dad hours like i think nearly a whole day to try and figure out how the hell do you flip a jigsaw around because it was such an awkward shape we couldn't find two things to put on the whole base of it then just to flip it all at one and then it was actually my dad that came up with the smart idea of flipping it on the little place mats <sighs> they don't make it easy for you did do they like it could have came out instructions hello and i was even looking on youtube videos on like how to flip a jigsaw and nothing so maybe i'm the first i feel privileged so yeah, hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification if you want to get notified for when I upload. Comment down below anything you want. Let me know if this helped you, please, because I would just feel better about myself. And yeah, have a good day. Have a good weekend, even though it's Sunday. Have a good week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. One more thing before I go. Um, last thing you have to do because mine just started to curl up at the edges so if you don't want yours to go curly which i'm guessing you don't put like loads of board games on top of it i just put like three board games on top of it then i put the plank of wood that i made the puzzle on back on it then i just started throwing loads of stuff on top of it just for extra weight so yeah that was just my extra point make sure to put weight on it so it doesn't ruin it see you in the next one bye